Okay, evil, or Resident Evil 7 Commentary Part 15. <coughs> I don't care if my coffin gets on there. And no, I don't have the coup for the woo flu. Don't worry about it. So don't worry about it. Although I'd say they'll try to shut shit down again with it, with the rise of cases. And don't, I have to say don't get upset about it. I, because, because everybody, it's like, it's like all you're, at this point voting, you're just voting for who's going to be the best guy who's going to, person who's going to oppress your ass. And I don't really care. Anyway, here it comes him, and somehow, it's somehow on an older TV like that, an older two TV from like the 2000s, like from the early to mid 2000s, those type of flat screen CRTs, somehow, somehow he can stream himself on there. Also, it probably didn't make it because I forgot to edit it in. There's a part where of a diary, and and you where you read look at where Lucas Baker traps a kid when he was like back when he was like seven eight years old, traps him in the attic, and apparently apparently the parents could not hear the kid scream. They didn't notice the body odor after he died. Uh, nobody. Kn I mean, did they not go to his room ever during that whole time? Nobody noticed the fluid coming down the walls. I mean, that's kind of crappy writing from a crappy editor. And then they could have used, here's what they could have done, they could have made this a standalone game, okay, dealing with Lucas Baker, and then use Evie in an actual, like, Resident Evil game, even if it was, like, a sp for a spinoff. Because there was sort of potential there, made it a Revelations game, where you could just play as, like, Jill or something, or, 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 you know, have Jill... You could play Jill Valentine or whatever, or Chris Redfield for Resident Evil Relations 3. That could have been. And Evie could have been the new little, little experiment they were using. The net, the a terrorist group. That could have just used what was left of the uh, group that Simmons was with. It made that Resident Evil Revelations 3. And no, I'm not saying I'm per I'm not saying I'm a perfect writer or anything. I'm not. I mean, I've never wrote for anything major. But I will say that it's I will say this about editing. It's a very important job. It makes me respect movie editors because it's make or break. Because if you do a sloppy job of editing, uh, chances are chances are the movie's gonna be bad just because of shit editing. If you think about it, it's not rocket science. It's, it's just common freaking sense. Anybody could figure that out. That it would make them, it would hurt, it would make the movie bad. Poorly edited, slop, sloppily editing a movie, an actual major movie. And, the, and also it falls on the, and then that can fall on the director and the company. Especially a director. When you think about it, I mean, <clears throat> so when you think about it, yeah. Uh, and I tried to maneuver my way around that explosive. Early, if you've seen that, I did bad on that part. 
No, I think I'm using, I think I'm just using regular handgun ammo here. And there's something cool here they did. It's something interesting. Yeah. Yeah, they even have explosives in those crates for items. So, you don't know if you're busting open for busting open the crate with bullets or bomb or an explosive. So here in this part I kind of like this where he's like, yeah, try this. No, try this. He's messing with you mentally. And right there, Lucas Baker, it's like Lucas Baker was, would have made a pretty good uh, standalone, standalone like serial killer type character in a standalone game. Basically, I got out of there because I remembered at one time I just stood there and there was a trap here in this part and I got killed. So, I'm going through here. Open that up. Yeah, get the can. I'm just doing poorly there. The rest of the game, I actually did pretty damn good in this game. In this playthrough, I mean, the part where I fight the final form of the final form of Jack Baker, I actually did very good in that part. Or decent, not I wouldn't say very good, but decent in that part. I mean, actually handled it very well. I will say I didn't like that. I didn't like having to shoot them crates because the because the explosives. I because it just makes you burn through your ammo. But this part, I really have no problems with. This was actually done very well. I'll be damned. I went under that trip, that explosive. And that bolded right there jumped after me and it got and it killed itself. Eh, thanks for taking one for the team, I guess, you know. Yeah. That was one way of doing that, taking care of that explosive there. Hey, yeah. Be damned. I'm kind of mildly interested in playing Not a Hero again. I mean, I played it back in 2017 during the whole, during like, it was like New Year's Eve, I think. Yeah, and I pissed, and I, I didn't enjoy it, but I'd like to see what it would have been like to go back and play it. Maybe, maybe it's not too bad. It just I felt it was a letdown, and I thought Chris, and I thought Chris, I think, and I thought it was a step down for the character of Chris Redfield. I just felt it was because after all the shit he went through in part five, and the hell he went through in part six, even. And I'm not saying those games were perfect by any means, but I'm just saying as action games and continued the story, they did a good job. Am I going to mix some? Yeah, I'm going to mix some herbs. See that shit? I'm trying to run out of the way. And I can't maneuver out of the way. Once again, why I did not like the fact that this was first person. Because in the old games, you could maneuver around shit. You could maneuver around enemies. And actually do that to save ammo. Here... 
here you're trying to run and your shit blocking you because you don't have a good view. You don't have a good view of maneuvering. And it's like, no, and no, it's something that's first person games because shit, I like Doom. I enjoyed the, I enjoyed AVP 2010. I liked, I mean, I liked Alien Trilogy. Uh, Doom, of course. Doom and Final Doom on the PS1 and even Doom 3 I liked. But it had action too. It was more action oriented in Doom 3 than being a horror game. That coin there, that antique coin. Strong chem fluid. What am I going to do with the strong chem fluid? I think I'm going to finally make some more, uh, yeah, enhanced gun and gun ammo. Mm hmm. That's some good, it's some good stuff in this game. This is where the game actually got pretty damn good. It went. It just went from like a D, it went from meh to actually pretty damn decent. This part here, like I said, this is probably the best part of the game, actually. Yeah, the part going through Lucas Baker's section that you deal with is the best part. The second best part is the damn chainsaw fight with Jack Baker, and the boss encounters as a whole are, are pretty good. The exploration and item management they've done were all spot on. Which makes me think, keep saying, this could have just been standalone or even a or even just a a spin-off. And as I said before, you could have took just the Lucas Baker character, put it in a different put it in a different game, took the idea for Eevee and put it in a Resident Evil Revelations 3. But here you're going to get an enemy rush coming up. An enemy rush, basically. So if you got your shotgun, so hopefully if you've played this game, you got your shotgun shell saved up. As I got a minute 35 to go. And I got the enhanced handgun ammo, a little bit of that going. Yeah, but mainly I saved my shotgun shells for this enemy rush. Well, how about that? I don't have enough space. So they they did get the the out of management shit down, down right. I was an idiot and got got that, but I got that herb there. I'm gonna mix, yeah, mix some med medication. That way I've got the battery. Um, as this part's almost over, and I'll be getting to part sixteen. Where I've got to go through that room, that trapped room, or that trap room, and I've got to do what the guy from the surrogator showed did wrong. I got to do that correctly. Yeah. So this part's over with, and I'll be back with part 16.